Um, Sorry, I always forget to start okay. the recording. That's okay. Yeah, so if you want to put, put your uh, topics in the chat room, uh, we can discuss them as we go. Um, the other thing that you can do if you want to make it private, if it's a topic you don't necessarily want anybody to know it's you saying it, because it might be a little sticky or touchy, um, feel free to private chat me. That does not get recorded. So that will only come to me. I'm not going to divulge who it is. That will give you some anonymity. Um, the other choice would be you could text me if you don't trust Zoom. <laughs> so let me know if that's an option you want to want to do instead. Uh, so actually what I can do, let me get in the into the chat. So, yeah, I've got it up on my screen as well. Okay. Oops, wrong cell number. Here we go. Uh, I'm just going to put this in the chat. Uh, that's my cell and put my email in there probably be easier if you text me in this format, but just for, for reference. So if you wanna uh, contact me after this course is done, if there's questions that you have, I'll be happy to work with any of you. So, okay, so we were talking about maybe going around the room and giving a status again of what you've been doing, uh, what your quartet status is, uh, and any clouds or silver linings in the past two years that you've been dealing with, because I think we might find that there's more silver linings than we thought. So why don't we start with, oh, I don't know, on my screen with Marion. Hey, please excuse my internet. It may give me a bit of a bumpy uh, sound. I sing with the Derriers, which is a um, funny quartet that sings well. Really? <laughs> From the name, they sing very well. That's yeah. awesome. And um, we, uh, we were so ready just before the pandemic that we had already performed our package for a chorus and then the pandemic hit and we said, we'll never be ready again in advance. That's what, that's our plan. Oh, <laughs> but, but just think of how ready you are now because you already got it done. You don't have to work. So go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, it, one of the good sides and bad sides for us is that everybody's got vacation homes and so getting together is tough. Okay. Uh, my schedule moves me between three different states on a regular basis, and so making a schedule is tough. So that's okay. one of the problems. But um, we enjoy one another. We're all from the same chorus. Um, so even if we're just working slow, we can work with chorus music without having to really stretch ourselves too much. And that's a good thing. And we, um, we have a lot of fun. So I don't know what else to say. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, are my hosts, are you guys quartet singers or? I'll go. Okay, I, go ahead, Patty. I think I'm in a quartet. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, we're, you are. We're still registered, okay. but I think I'm going to recommend to them that we not re-register because, um, so my baritone and tenor are sisters and they're both in their late thirties and they both have boy, little boys and my baritone is pregnant with twins and they both um, work full time. <laughs> okay, all right. And, and we got together in person in June and yes, you know, yay, we're back together. We can, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, just but life is just too crazy. So, um, and they don't want to compete. So I, you okay. know, when the next time we get together, I think I'm going to say, you know, we're happy to sing with you on a sing out anytime you want, but I don't think we need to be registered, you know? Gotcha. Um, okay. And then that way I could maybe compete with someone else. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think we're going to find some, some ways where we might be a little more flexible in our, our, our thought process about how we, how we go through our quartet life. So Annette, darling. Oh, hello dear. Yes. Well, um, as you all know, I love being in quartets. Yes. I was lucky enough to be in the championship quartet Voce. And while I was in Voce, I also was in an unregistered old lady quartet. They're not here today for me to say that. And at age 70, I was the youngest member of that quartet. But during pandemic, our base, Pat Leary from the Farmington mm -hmm. Valley Chorus said, we can't do this. I can't do this. I just need to focus my 
attention on the Farmington Valley course. I don't like Zoom. I don't okay. want to Zoom. Yeah. Where is it? So, okay. We Where have, you, right? yeah. I, we kind of okay. eliminated the, that quartet, but now I have a brand new quartet, a fun quartet that will have its first rehearsal next Sunday. And so oh, that's see. why I'm here because every time we have an, I have a new quartet, it's a new beginning, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, wonderful singers, we're all in the same, we're all in the same room, we're on Zoom. I'm um, all in harmony on the sound. So I am looking forward to any tips you can give me. And I'm hoping that at least one other member of the quartet will sign on this morning. Okay. All right. And they can watch the recording to make sure that you aren't, right. you aren't making stuff up, right? <laughs> right. I wouldn't well, dare. Well, I mean, I, Roll I tape, think I we? know the other people in her quartet and it shouldn't just be a fun quartet. Okay. I'm just saying, Nettie. Okay. Well, They're fun very good. Little, well, thank you. <laughs> little competitive edge. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right, Sally, you're up. Thank you. Um, I'm a baritone in a quartet called Rhythm Method. Okay. And um, as you can tell from the name, we kind of are tongue in cheek kind I'm of surprised group. you got away with that name. Yeah. <laughs> I know we were I too. I went, Hmm. Hmm. It was asleep at the wheel on that one, but I like Not it. Was asleep at the wheel, but we got away with it. We're keeping it. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Go ahead. Try to take um, it away now. <laughs> yeah. So we got we got started in uh, February of 2020, and then the pandemic okay. hit after our third rehearsal. Oh. You know, so it's been um, kind of you know like an airplane going. Oh, yeah. you know? But we have we've hung in there. We've done. Um, uh, we've got a number of songs under our belt now. We have a good feel for each other. Finally, you know, good. it's starting okay. to feel. Um, we have one gal who is immunocompromised. So that, you know, the rest of us are like, sure, we'll, we'll risk this. And, but there's some, but we're respectful of, of her needs. Um, we have joined all three Harmony Societies. Uh, barbershop societies um because we want to we want to we want to experience it all good for you yeah so that's that's where we're at cool cool wow. thank you thank you that's amazing all right martha you're next on my list anyway hi kim yes um i'm martha jacovoni and i have I just celebrated my 50th year in sweet adeline wow congratulations and most of, and most of my time in Sweet Adeline's I've been in a quartet in a competing okay, quartet and um, have had the opportunity to go to international a few times and um, quartetting for me was you know I love chorus but I love quartetting more <laughs> and gotcha. uh, so then um, I have not my my um, quartet my last quartet um, stopped singing um, our bass lost her daughter to a brain tumor and that was sort of the that and then it was just hard to move on because she had been my bass since 1985 so oh it was my goodness hard to move on to another quartet without her mm -hmm. but she wasn't she wasn't really ready to sing but so anyway the covid came and i'm singing now in coastline and so two of the girls in coastline um chris and carol came to me and said would I be interested in maybe just singing for the heck of it you know let's just get okay. together and sing and no pressure blah 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 you know how that uh -huh. is and then uh, we got a baritone and um so anyway we're, we're just kind of forming right now and not too sure what we're what we haven't really we kind of picked out a name okay let's sing again <laughs> and, oh, fantastic and, now nobody have, steal that <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't officially, um, you know, sent the check in because okay. our baritone lost her mother recently. And so oh. anyway, um, so we're just kind of getting, you know, back to it. And we have sung together live, which has been great. I mean, the first time we sang together, it was, you know, very magical. It was mm -hmm. fantastic. So um, we're looking forward to getting together and sort of, you know, picking music and deciding how much we wanted to do. And, okay. you know, we're looking forward to getting coached because that's always fun. And um, just really, I think for the pure pleasure 
of singing together, honestly, at this point is what Good. we're looking for. Great. And then, and then I'm looking for maybe, um, you know, good places to find music and, um, you know, what what people have found successful. We don't want to do this, the old time uh, Sweet Adeline music. We want things that are new, maybe some funny music and whatever, and okay. what people are using for, um, you know, for their resources for picking out music. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. Things are shuffling around a little bit. Nadine. Tell us about your quartet life. Hi. Uh, well, actually, well, I'm with the Acapella Sounds Chorus in the Montreal okay. area. And um, I'm actually, I was before the pandemic, I was actually part of a, of a quartet and a quintet. So the quintet has two, le two leads. Um, the, the quartet was registered. We had just started and we had just decided that we were going to try and compete and the whole thing. And we were working on our up tune when COVID hit. And that was the end of it. So oh two of the ladies decided that zooming and all that that stuff was not for them. So I think we're still registered, but we're definitely not singing. That's for that's a fact. But the quintet, we've been together for quite a while. And I see I have okay. one other member of the quintet online here. Allison is part is our lead, one of our leads in the quintet. Uh, we decided we were not going to stop singing, so we met every every two weeks on Zoom and we uh, recorded our um, our parts to put them together on band lab. And so that's how we were able to evaluate how we were doing and how our songs were coming together. And the minute we were able to get back together in person, um, we took that opportunity and we had a, we had a retreat day and okay. just, you know, sang all day and worked on stuff. And it was, it was absolutely Perfect. amazing. And then okay. after a while, well, you know, where we're back at where we were at the beginning. So we're back on Zoom and doing band lab. So it's, yeah, once again, it's like up and down, up and down. But we kept on singing all the way through. Every second week we met and, um, and never stopped singing. We even had a little performance uh, during the holidays. Well, <coughs> before we got hit with confinement again. So, yeah, we were pretty lucky that way. No masks. That was amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kim, interesting. Acapella, acapella Sounds is our Canadian chorus in our region. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, I saw that. So you must have petitioned to be part of that region then, huh? Is that part of, or, or does the geography We didn't have any naturally... changes. We didn't have okay. any changes. Yeah. We we had two Canadian courses, but one uh, disbanded. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Because yeah. Canada is huge. <laughs> yeah. so, so I see there's now actually Allison and Jeannie have both joined. The, the Jeannie is the base, Allison and oh, Jeannie. Cool. So okay. I, I, I don't know if they want to add something and we can't see them. I think Allison has computer problems, but we can't see them, but we can certainly hear them. Ladies, yeah, do you so want to add something? Yeah, Allison and Jeannie, if you want to pop in, we're just talking about quartetting experience and how you're doing and all that fun stuff. So we'll skip over to you just for that. You can see uh, where we're at right now, right? We're still yes. on the <laughs> and, you can, and you can tell who lives in Canada because you guys are locked down. <laughs> yeah. There they are. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. If I can just add one thing, I found that the uh, the quintet or quartet has uh, kept my helped me keep my sanity through all this. It gave me goals, weekly goals, uh, really almost daily goals, and we've been learning where I've. Unfortunately, we find I found a lot of members of our chorus are, are getting unmotivated. We are like on top of our game with this. But we're playing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the no one. Uh, the um, uh, uh, what what is the expression? You 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 go for you join for the music, but you stay for the friendship. Yeah. And uh, I find that's been really. Uh, Uh, and it's kept, uh, it's certainly kept uh, the the chorus together and and my quintet in particular. You know, I mean, uh, we we've, we've been performing since uh, I guess uh, I guess we're going on our seventh year now. Wow, that's great. Um, so, uh, and Adina, have we been singing for seven years? Six, seven? And yeah, I guess I I haven't been counting, but it was quite after uh, shortly after I'm I joined so you and I joined so it's yeah it's been quite yeah, a few years at least yeah. 16 2016 yeah 
yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So uh, now we've uh, we've we've kept we've kept together, and uh, it's uh, it's and uh, and my, my my quintet is so important to me too. So uh, it's been uh, it's been tough through COVID, uh, I've got to say, but uh, you know we we just got together recently back in person uh, as a as a group as a chor chorus and as a quintet, but and now we're. We're back to online, but uh, we're hoping that this Omicron thing doesn't last. Uh, the lockdown doesn't last as long as the last one did. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this variant will just burn out like a wildfire, and yeah. maybe maybe we can. Everybody's getting sick, right? Yeah, just and fortunately, it seems like it's a less virulent strain. So hopefully that'll be the case, and because um, we as singers obviously are in the super spreader category. Like great, <laughs> you know. So yeah. anything we're doing is is the 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 worst when it comes to this kind of stuff. So so that's yeah. awesome. Very cool. I, I have a question actually, sure. and and, and um, are you are you uh, in in the states? Are you still planning the the, the in person uh, competition, or is that still yes? Yeah, yeah. Region nine has decided to go in person, um, and we're going to be in a hotel setting. I was just talking with Patty about this. So, uh, and while we, our particular governor has decided we, he, there's no allowances for mandating anything, um, but to keep our members safe, the region has decided to adopt COVID uh, policies. So um, you either have to uh, be vaccinated or show a PCR test. So we're, we're following those guidelines. Um, and unfortunately the hotel doesn't have any rules so we're going to be in this mix with staff that we don't know about and other guests at the hotel. So it's, it's a little dicey for some people. Um, I'm more of a mind of, you know, I'm twice vaxxed and boosted. I'll be wearing my mask when I'm walking through public spaces. It, that doesn't bother me, um, uh, it, but at least we'll get, be able to get back and do something. I don't know what attendance is gonna look, look like for us. I think Patty has the same same situation where things might be a little less attended, but but this is definitely something that we we need to be you know cognizant of, and and that is um, do people feel safe? We also need to consider that something might happen with groups, you know, if you have an outbreak or something happen, you know, there's you just got to be fluid through this, which I think is what we've all all been learning is you know what I call the F word flexible. <laughs> <laughs> having to be flexible. Um, I think we've all is, gotten really good at that. <laughs> where, yes. And, you know, and, and we can all have our meltdowns and our, you know, raise our fists and, and, you know, just be, be very upset with things, but the reality is what we're dealing with. So we, we're going to have to, to figure out how to pivot and work through it. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. So uh, who was I leaving off? Let's go to Sarah. What is your quartet experience and what are you what are you up to these days i am probably the least experienced person in the room and i'm cool with that okay i, just, I joined coastline show chorus seven years ago i just passed my um anniversary yay great yay okay. i've i've only sung with one i've only sung in one quartet so okay. far and it was it's a blast awesome. we had fun it's awesome it was <laughs> yeah, we had a lot. We really had a lot of fun. It was called Sing It To Me. It was um, bi-generational. There were two young women with us and two middle-aged women, one of whom was me. But um, <clears throat> that was a lot of fun. But our lead went to law school in Pennsylvania. So, wow. um, so that went away. And then I tried out for three really, I have I have auditioned with three really good quartets, Vocal Mischief, Carried Away, Phoenix Rising, in the last two and a half years. And I got one call back for one of them. I know I have a good voice. I'm beginning to think my deodorant doesn't work because nobody <laughs> wants me. <laughs> and I have sung with Annette Landry, Martha. I'm not sure who else is in this room, but I have a good voice and I'm reliable. So I'm like frustrated because okay. I will never stop singing barbershop. Good for you. I actually, I'm, I, I auditioned and got into a um, mixed voice chorus as well, but I really would like to quartet. When I am at international, I really enjoy the quartet. 
when I'm at regional competition, I really enjoy the, the quartets, whether they're good, whether they're in the middle, it doesn't matter. I just love that scene. So what advice can anybody give somebody that nobody seems to want? Oh, okay. All right. So we'll add that to the, we'll put that on the list of things to talk about. <clears throat> okay. Let's see who's next. It looks like uh, Karen popped in and popped back out again. Uh, Beth. <laughs> she knew you were coming to her. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I just took oh, my back. name off. Hi, Kim. <laughs> All right. Let's go with Beth and then I'll, we'll talk to Karen. Okay. I'm, sorry. I'm just here to, to, to hear what everybody's talking about. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I came in late. I was going oh, to get no a COVID test. So oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah. Just, just to be safe. Um, I have quite a bit of experience. I've been a sweet, a sweet Adeline for over 30 years. I've been in one, I'm in about three quartets right now, but one we've been together for over 20 years. We've been to international. Um, we'll stay together until one of us isn't here any longer, just because we love each other's company. And, you know, it's like, it's like mm -hmm. putting on a slippers. We haven't sung the whole pandemic together, but we had a couple of performances over the holidays and, um, Kim, you understand this. There's just that comfort level with yeah. a, a quartet that you've had a long time with. And it's like, we didn't miss a step. We knew all of our songs. We sounded good. It, you know, it was great. So I don't want to give that up. Um, I am forming a new quartet with a couple of newbies just to help them with experience. Okay. Um, so it's, I haven't been with newbies for quite a long time because my other quartets that I'm in, um, are very experienced singers as well. Um, so it's it's a challenge in that it's teaching me that I need to slow down a bit and educate them, which I'm already an educator in our chorus. I'm with the Vienna Falls Chorus okay. in Region 14. So it's uh, I, I think I'm looking for some new ways to bring in these new people without intimidate. I know they're intimidated, um, and I want I don't want I don't want that. I want to be able to. Um, give them some new things and encourage them that um, quartetting is, is going to be fun. <laughs> and, you know, we our region is not doing live competition. So, oh, okay. so that's kind of off the plate for us, which is I'm okay with. I'm, I was, I've always been from the school of get your sound together, get your personalities together, get your quartet, um, get your quartet and identity before you compete because if you do that too soon and you go compete then it's not a good experience and you don't want to do it again and that's that's not what, what competition should be it should be a fun a fun experience and a way to um know know what your your new goals are and set new goals and listen to the judges and hear what they have to say they're the experts in in our organization and they can give you some good advice so i think that's where i am i just want that's to be great. able to you know kind of back up a little bit mm -hmm. Help, help, help my new, and one is just brand new to barbershop. She's young, which is awesome. Yes. <laughs> because that's also a thing. And, and I know that one of our other gals up there, Sarah, you were saying, um, nobody wants to sing with you. Oh, there's a lot of people that want to sing with you. It's just, it's a, it's a certain dynamic that you have to find. Um, so don't, do not give up. Absolutely do not give up. Put yourself out there and just, you know, keep, keep going for it. Absolutely. Good, good That's advice. Thank That's you. <laughs> yes, Thank definitely good advice. All right, Sally, tell us about yourself. Oh, I already did you, didn't I? Yeah. Things shifted around. So have I covered everybody? Karen, you yeah. want to talk about your quartetting experience? Sure. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I loved it, but I, I'm not, I think the old girl is ready to like, you know, I just want to have a quartet. If I do it again, it will be to perform and not, I mean, sure, I'd love to get coached. That's uh -huh. all good, but I just don't want the pressure of contest. That's okay. that's kind of where I am. But it, it it really, if you're with the right people for you, it's really just wonderful. It's it's a lot of fun and the singing and you learn so much. And so that's why I, I'm enjoying listening to all of you because I would love to find a way to help promote, I mean, let's face it, we're all going to begin again in a, you know, and find ways to make quartetting easier to, to find parts to, I think that's the, the hardest thing, you know, um, and I, and I wish there were a better way other than mix and match, but 
that's all we have right now. But I, that's why I'm, if I'm listening to you, maybe I'll get ideas. Nadine? Um, I just wanted to mention is you, so you're looking for ideas that, well, before the pandemic, obviously, that year before, because we couldn't do it again, we had, <clears throat> Tracy was our director at that point, she wanted to do a spaghetti cordet, corteri. So what we did, we had a spaghetti evening for family and friends. Say that again, and spaghetti corteri. <laughs> spaghetti corteri, I love yeah. That. I'm gonna and that so down. we formed, the chorus formed uh, quartets and small groups to sing for our guests when we, while they were having their spaghetti dinner. And it was a huge success for the singers as well as the, as the, uh, the attendants, because the spaghetti was pretty good. We have pretty good cooks <laughs> on, the, on the team. <laughs> <laughs> and we had wine and that always helps oh, but yes, uh, <laughs> but yeah so the uh, some people are a little bit shy to get started you know because they're just being you know thrown together at one point for this particular um but they get the experience of singing together and i, I think it, it's it's very helpful um for your parts in the core in the chorus as well when you are a little more on your own you can't rely on the others if you're the only voice there. So it's a good exercise and it was lots of fun. Yeah, that, I mean, that, I I don't want to take away from what Kim's, yeah, you know, I want her to leave the class. So I, I'm glad to take, I mean, unless Kim, you you want to have these things come out. I don't want to, you know, I, yes, I'm listening so I can hear from, because yeah. you may have, you may have a different view. I just, um, I, like I said, I want our quartets to grow. I want them to be happy. I want them, um, and I actually don't even care if it's quartet. Like I think the quintet idea is a good idea. Anything that's yeah. extra is, is why not? And you know what, after this pandemic, why not? <laughs> exactly. so, anyway, so Kim, you take over and I, 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 but Martha, I'll catch up with you. You make sure you get to me, you know? Yeah, so, so do, do take notes on things that you hear about. If you have suggestions, um, if we can share them either with me, I did post my email in the, in the chat. You can also send them to Karen. Maybe Karen can copy me on those as well. Just ideas that you might have that can just, uh, you know, we might never have thought of that. So the idea of more than four singers in a quartet, which is that crazy question people ask you, how many are in your quartet? <laughs> Seriously, uh, you know, a quintet, that's awesome. You know, I, I've, I, I know of ensembles, but I haven't really heard of, well, let's just have a couple extra on, on a part. Um, I think that's brilliant because the, the folks at large, they don't really care. Uh, they don't know barbershop and our, our rules, um, you know? So, so if we're stuck in our roles, then that kind of limits us as well. So why not be, you know, five or six or whatever. And maybe you could plug and play people so that you can do performances. And uh, I think it's just a, a great way to uh, bring along maybe somebody who's not as uh, strong of a singer yet, give them that chance to be able to, to get up there and, and have, you know, a little, little bit of comfort next to them to uh, assist them through the process until they get on their own feet and have the confidence to do it themselves. So I think that's all, all great ideas. So, so definitely one of the things that we need to be talking about is the personnel issue. Um, you know, to Sarah, to your point, if you want a quartet, then go out and find people, you know, rather than waiting for them to, to ask you, find a reason why you want to sing. Uh, we're a little short on time for singing Valentine's, but uh, singing birthday grams or something like that, where you learn a song together that you could deliver via Zoom, uh, you could record and you know send to somebody, um, that would be a great way to just get together and say, it's just this song and let's see what happens. Uh, do we get along? Do we all have uh, the right personality fit? Because that's an important piece of quartetting. You know, you're, you're like your four married people, pretty much, <laughs> you know, for those of you who have been through that. And when there's dysfunction, um, then you want to make sure that you, you try to address that and you address it up front with setting up your goals and saying, uh, are we going to compete? Are we a serious, you know, competition quartet that will obviously perform as well? Are we going to be a, a, a chapter quartet where we're on the show? Are we going to be performing locally? Um, 
or is it a mix of it? Are we a comedy quartet? Are we, you know, more traditional? What's our image? What, what, what is, what is it that we want to be? And then get those things out on the table and go through them with your, your three other people. Uh, do you have the same work ethic? Because even though you think you might be able to do something or you you want to do it, will you actually be able to do uh, the work and commit to the time and, and anything that's involved with that? So obviously, if you're a fun pickup quartet that you sing for chapter, uh, like if you have a, um, a party or something and you're, you just get together to do, do skits on that, that's different in a commitment perspective than if you're going to go compete. And so you really got to be clear what those steps are and what are those things that you all want to attain. And then I would say, put a time limit on it. So right now, let's say uh, we're going to compete. Let's just go through competition and then we'll come back together and then let's see what, what has happened. Are we a good fit? Did it work? Uh, are, are all of us on board committing time-wise? Um, and then have, have basically, you know, try to try to have an exit strategy, which, which I think a lot of quartets make the mistake of. They get together and they think, okay, this is it. You're not Supreme Court judges. You're not appointed for life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So you want to make sure that you, you give yourself, you know, bite-sized pieces on the calendar and say, you know, either, no, you know, I, I realize right now, this is not a good time for me. So I'm going to respectfully back out and be okay with that. Be open and, and transparent about it. That makes for healthy quartet singers and healthy quartets. Uh, because the, the last thing you want to do is, like I said, when you go into the, into the group and you're all assuming, okay, we, we have music, we have costumes, and now this is it. So when somebody says, well, I can't do this anymore, it's this huge kerfuffle. And, and it, it basically um, puts a, a stain, if you will, on the quartetting experience and maybe friendships. So just be very clear about all those things and then have a discussion about what is your dialogue with each other so that you're holding each other accountable. So that it isn't a, you know, well, we're just going to, the th three of us are going to get together and plot and say, well, she's not doing this. And then, then just decide to fire them. You know, you, you just got to be really careful with all, all of that so that you're respectful of, of everybody. Um, and then conversely, that people are respectful of the time and are really doing what they should be doing. So be, be, be more business-like in that aspect. And I think you'll have a healthier experience. Um, because everybody's, you know, being honest and open. So I think that's a, a huge, a huge thing to talk about. Um, and like I said, have a, have an exit strategy, have, you know, bite-sized pieces where you're getting back together and going, okay, should we do continue on? Um, and if we continue on is what we're doing good. Do we need to tweak? Do we need to, uh, wholesale change things? Or is it time to just say, well, that was fun. Let's, you know, what's next, you know? So any comments or questions about that so far? I think um, the two younger ones in my quartet didn't, they still don't understand what quartetting is about. Okay. I, I you know, my, uh, my lead and I are, are both like, we want a commitment. We want to rehearse on a regular basis. And they kind of think, well, I'll, I'll just be over here learning my music. And whenever we can get together, we can get together. And we're like, no, that's not what we feel quartetting is. So that's really hard to deal with, even though, you know, we've told them we want a commitment, we want to rehearse on a regular basis, but the, I, they just still don't quite understand, or I don't know. Yeah. So that's, that's an area of flexing then. So yeah. what's the end result? Is this group something that's worth, worth keeping together? Maybe your goals are, are more long-term because you've got issues with being able to get together, find creative solutions to making sure that people are keeping up. So if that means the lead records uh, their part, um, you know, maybe video too, who knows, you know, whatever, whatever works where you can um, have something to work with and then, uh, you know, agree to at least, a, you know, can we get together twice a month? Can we, you know, flex with the schedule a little bit, knowing that um, the, 
the life, you know, life outside of, of quartetting is different for them. So that's the trade-off. And if it if it's something that is not sustainable for you because maybe your drive is a little different, your availability is a little different, maybe that quartet is one of, you know, that's going to be your your like I said, a long-term goal. And then you sing with other groups, you know, yeah. co come together. It's like, I want to compete. Let's just throw together a competition quartet and see what happens, you know, just or at least give, sing. At, a regular to, at least sing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, do performances, whatever. So yeah, be more flexible. And I think we all have to get rid of the, the stigma of, oh, she's cheating on me. No, she's not. <laughs> you know, this is, this has got to be a more flexible, um, welcoming, accepting inclusion type thing to be able to do more, more, um, more singing in public and get, you know, have three or four quartets going where you're popping in. They could be mixed quartets. They could be, you know, uh, women's quartets, whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, so be more flexible with that. So that that's a tough thing to do, but have that conversation and figure out how they, how all of you can work together because that's not a one size fits all group from what I'm hearing. Right. Yeah. So if you want to be a one size fits all, then they're not the right people for you. So you have to weigh that. So like I said, maybe that is a, a long-term solution uh, for you. Let's, let's build this in the hopes that when schedules and so forth evolve um, and experience evolves, that we'll be in a better place to, to then be that you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great point because we like our sound together, right? You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, yeah. Uh, but you also have to be realistic; otherwise, you'll get frustrated. And when you get frustrated, then you start uh, bringing that to the rehearsals, and then that's no fun at all. So you want to make sure that that you keep that out. Um, and when you agree to things, you got to agree with them. <laughs> you can't go, but I really didn't agree. I just did it to keep this going. You can't do that because that that's a different energy that you're bringing as well. So, yeah. So those are those are all wonderful things to think about. Um, you know, when, when you're talking about forming a quartet, if you've got people in mind, um, just you know, talk to them and say. So you know, you start with the lead bass. Maybe there's a you know a, somebody that you want to sing with. Uh, just say, let's sing a chorus song together, or let's sing how we sang today or something that you both know and see if there's a fit, you know, spend a little time with them, see if there's a, a good personality fit, talk to them about their work ethic. All this stuff is so important. Um, and then feel free to just say, oh, that was fun. Okay. And, you know, <laughs> you know move on and try some others. Um, one of the things that maybe could happen at like when we're back in person is maybe a little quartet mixer, um, you know, like on a Friday night or whatever, where it's uh, almost like a, uh, was that 10 minute dating? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I've never done one of those. I don't know if I ever would. Um, but in the, in the quartetting world, it's, you know, let's have some tags, uh, maybe send them out in advance, learn the tag, let's get together and, and put to, you know, do some plug and play um, and have some fun and see, see what's out there as far as, uh, you know, other people that might be looking. Uh, the website for the region could be another place if you want to put that in the members only area, kind of like a, you know, like eHarmony dating site. <laughs> be Harmony, Barbershop Harmony, you know, that could be a, a place where, okay, I've, I'm a base uh, looking for long walks on the beach. No, I'm looking for, you know, a fun <laughs> quartet to sing with. Pina coladas. Um, pina coladas, exactly, yes. Have yes. Say, Must have wine. Say, yes, have wine. We'll this, sing. Region, this region has great RQA days, and I have okay. gone every year that I'm able to, and there's always a good mix and match there, too. Okay. So I'm All right. looking so, forward to RQA day. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely, yeah. So use those events, and um, you're, you might need to be a little more, have a little more game, <laughs> as they say, you know. I'm gonna go pick up a quartet. So I've got to figure out how am I gonna to talk to people and approach them? Um, you, know, you know, you don't wanna to be too aggressive. You wanna like pounce on them and say, I'm gonna sing with you, but you wanna make sure that you um, are open to uh, having, having an experience that's fun and that might 
foster uh, something that would extend beyond that. The other thing that I went to, I forget which, where it was, Bling went to Ohio and they had a, oh, my COVID brain. Um, it's kind of like a, a jamboree kind of thing, but, but people would come in and you would get a, like a dance card and you had to mark your dance card with all the people that were there that you had sung a tag with them. You know, so ways of kind of forcing you essentially for the people that are a little bit less, um, less social, maybe a little bit more uh, reserved, it kind of forces them to get that dance card filled. And maybe that one of those quartets or, or some of those quartets could be uh, brought in, you know, in some format to sing together. Uh, where you where you just just have a really good time and and um, maybe you don't go in knowing who you're going to sing with but maybe when you come out you might have formed a, a you know a skeleton of a quartet or something that might might actually work and give you more experience about the, that that particular uh, way of finding how do I sing with somebody because it is kind of a you know, if, if you know somebody and they know somebody and, you know, my friend wants to sing with your friend. Kind of thing. <laughs> it's almost like high school, right? Um, and that works too. Uh, so yeah, so put the word out and just say, hey, I'm looking to sing. Um, do you know of anybody? You know, just make sure you use your network. That's one of the things that we have a, a huge network and, that, and, and go beyond your chorus, go, go to your region, go to, uh, you know, other choruses, go to um, other organizations. I mean, you could go to, you could go to Harmony Inc. and see if there's ladies there that want to sing because they, they're most likely in the same boat we're in, um, you know, cross pollinate a little bit. Mixed quartets are great. Um, you know, all those kinds of options. So, uh, if you put yourself out there, if you, you know, kind of like if you build it, they will come, um, you know, put, put yourself out there and make sure that people know about what your, what your goals are and what you're looking for and, uh, that you're not, um, locked into anything specifically. You want to be, you want to be flexible. There's that word again. <laughs> Something that came up in the quartet that I was in to, to be aware of too, I think is the time, at, the time in your life that the group, and I think that's one reason Sing It To Me struggled a little because, you know, it, it, intergenerational is tough. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, it is um anyway I, I i really am interested in singing with other women because i want to sing bass i have a bass brain a bass ear and i have done mixed harmony singing and i can sing the baritone and it is a challenge and i love it but it isn't what i want to sing i want to sing bass so gotcha gotcha okay all right well and be true to that you know all of you need to be true to whatever it is you want and if you're not getting it, you need to figure out, can I, is it a deal breaker? Is it something that I have to have to have to have? Or is it something that I can live with because everything else is so wonderful? So those are things to think about. So, so leading into that whole idea of intergenerational. So part of the things that you want to think about is what is your image? What are you uh, trying to portray? Because if you're intergenerational and you're singing about, um, you know, being older, your audience is going to be looking at you going, that doesn't, it doesn't jive because what I'm seeing is two different age groups. So, but if you play off the age groups, then you have the opportunity to, to do some fun stuff. You know, um, you've seen things where people say, well, when I was, uh, you know, like, uh, when I knew this particular musician, I was X years old, right? And then others would say, well, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> you know, the, which is, it's cliche kind of, but it's still funny. Everybody laughs, you know, because yeah. you're like, oh yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know anything. So, um, you know, using whatever you have in your quartet uh, <laughs> to create that image is helpful because that helps you with picking music, your costuming, all that stuff, because you don't want to have a young costume on an inter intergenerational group, nor do you want to have a more mature costume on an inter intergenerational group. You want to have something that mixes. So in that scenario, you could have a color scheme and you wear whatever fits you. 
that's um, your style, right? Yes. Those kinds of things. So, um, so really be clever and careful about all that. That goes to your dialogue. It goes to really everything that, that you do. Um, your website, your logo, all that is involved in making sure that when you present yourselves, they go, okay, I understand who they are. I'm not going, hmm, why did they choose that? Or why are they saying that? So, so make sure that you, you do, do be true to your, your quartet and look at, look at your quartet personality and see what is it that is uh, unique to your group. Do you have somebody who's funny? You know, they could be the your your uh, you know the, the comedian of the group. They and you, the rest of you could be the, the straight people. You know, <laughs> so find those strengths and use those to help form that image. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, we are officially over time, but as I've told you before, oh, we are. it's okay. not a big deal. But okay. um, I think people are starting to come in for the next class a little bit. Okay. Um, does everybody need a, a pit stop break? Or Well, this has been great. It's a small, very intimate group. We kind of got to talk about some stuff. If, there's, if there are questions that you didn't get to ask, um, I, I think this format was really great to be able to share what we're all going through and realize we're all in this together. And that if we uh, stay together, uh, which is a unique situation that we have that the rest of the muggles don't have, it, you know, we have Sweet Adelines, we have Barbershop, we have a network of people that will help us uh, hopefully stay a little more sane uh, than the normal folk out there. So I appreciate all of your time. Uh, like I said, reach out to me if you have questions specifically. <laughs> Uh, I did have a, like a whole list of stuff, but I wanted to make sure that we covered things that were important to you. So stay safe, be wonderful. Thank you. Hold on one yes, second. Yes, I want to say, sure. I want to say thank you to Kim. Also, because she's coming for RQA, I think it would be wonderful um, if you, in, you're going to be getting your event, your feedback form coming. I know Patty's going to be dropping oh, that pretty soon. Yeah, sure. Thanks for the reminder. Let me just pull um, that up. And what I'm thinking is it would be really great if you wrote down what classes you would like to hear right. more of, because i that's what I did. I thought um, distilling everything that she said was quartet conversations. Right. And um, I mean, this is a wonderful time for us to begin again. And so right. please give me, if she's giving you her email address, make suggestions for what classes would be really great for a either another regional or b for rqa because she is coming it would be great to hear more about all of her experience so thank you kim this was oh this you was bet terrific. I'm yeah and I, I i build classes to suit because um you know there's a lot of topics where you know, where we could teach at you but really right. it needs to be we need to be more flexible in what our learning plan is. So I'm very happy to, to create whatever classes you want. Um, and if there's common subjects, we could put them in a class together. I yeah. like the, the idea of a, the quartet conversation. I think that's a really good uh, class to have, um, would have to be a safe zone where mm -hmm. you can really talk through issues and, and maybe there's some counseling <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would be offered as well. Yeah. So you have a, Quartet coaching time musically. Maybe there's some coaching on let's talk about what the dynamics are. Maybe we need a little mediation or something like that. You just, I mean, there's so many ideas. Right, <laughs> so. right. So please write them down for yes. me you and for it. Kim. And it's great that she's coming so that she can she can help do that. Now that you've met her, you 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 know how safe you'll feel with her. Yes. Um, and anyway, so the link the link to the survey form is now in the chat. Just click on it. The survey form will open up, and uh, you can you can write in what you need thank you so great. much kim great thank yeah, you uh, thank everybody you all for being here i'll be back in five minutes to five interest. minutes this next okay people. all right good thank i'm gonna take a little break i'll be back yeah we're all helpful thank you so much thank you very much